Hello everyone. Today in this video we will be discussing microbial growth kinetics. Welcome to AgriVision for you. This topic is very important for gate because you can expect at least one question from this topic. Let's start. First is what is growth? Growth defined as increase in cellular constituent either increase in cell number or increase in cell size or mass in some microorganism that reproduce by a process like budding or binary fission growth means increase in cell number while a microorganism known as coenocytic that is a multinucleate organism in which nuclear division are not accompanied by cell division in this the growth means increase in cell size not increase in cell number moving to next term that is growth curve population growth is studied by analyzing the growth curve of a microbial culture when any microorganism is cultivated in liquid medium that usually are grown in a batch culture or closed system batch culture and closed system means that they are incubated in a closed culture vessel with a single batch medium as there is no fresh medium is provided during incubation nutrient concentration decline and concentration of waste increases so to represent the growth of microorganism we can plot a graph as the logarithm of the number of viable cell versus the incubation time and the resulting curve has four distinct phases the first phase is lag phase second phase is log phase third phase is stationary phase and the last phase is death or decline phase let's see them one by one the first is lag phase Lag phase means when microorganism are introduced into fresh culture medium usually no immediate increase in cell number occurs this period is called lag phase it is also called as adaptation period a lag phase prior to the start of cell division that is before log phase is necessary for a variety of reason like the cell may be old and depleted of atp ribosome and cofactor and these must be synthesized before growth can begin now let us see the next phase the second phase is log phase also known as exponential phase in this phase the cell population increases logarithmically and during this period each organism is dividing at constant interval thus the population will double in number during a specific length of time is called the generation time or doubling time it means if our population will double during a specific length of time this time is known as generation time let us understand this term by an example Suppose that a culture tube inoculated with one cell that divide every 20 minute that means there will be two cell after 20 minute four cell after 40 minute and so on as we see the increase in population is always 2 to the power n where n is the number of generation we will see the mathematics part of this exponential phase further in the slide now let us discuss first is stationary phase in stationary phase the reproductive and death phase equalize the population enter a plateau and it is called the stationary phase in which the total number of viable cell remain constant and this phase is due to like exhaustion of some nutrient and this is one of the obvious factor this is uh, nutrient limitation if an essential nutrient is depleted population growth will slow and the second factor may be the accumulation of toxic waste product for example streptococci can produce so much lactic acid and other organic acid from sugar fermentation that their medium become acidic and growth is inhibited 
now the next phase is phase of decline or death phase in decline or death phase the number of viable cell decreases exponentially now let us see the next term that is the mathematics of the growth as we see during the log phase and exponential phase each organism is dividing at constant double and during a specific length of time if the population will double this is called as generation time or doubling time suppose that we have n not the initial population number and n t the population at time t and small n as the number of generation in time t then we calculate the population at time t as initial population number multiply by 2 to the power n we know the population term is increases as 2 to the power n so solving for n the number of generation we get n as log nt minus log n not divided by log 2 while putting the value of log 2 as 0.301 this is the formula for number of generation this formula is very important because lot of numerical ask based on this formula. Now moving to next is if we have to calculate the mean growth rate constant that means number of generation per unit time mean growth rate constant k is equals to n upon t after putting the value of n log n t minus log n naught divided by 0.301 we get the formula for mean growth rate constant and the time takes to a population to double in size that is the mean generation time or mean doubling time can now be calculated we know if the population double then t is equals to g then n t is equals to 2 n naught so substitute this into mean growth rate equation and we have to solve for k then k in place of nt we have to put 2 n naught and in place of t we have to put g so we get k is equals to 1 upon g the mean generation time is reciprocal of the mean growth rate constant a is equals to 1 upon g this is also important because this is also used in solving various numerical now this is the formula first formula as we see and t is equals to n naught into 2 to the power n where nt is a number of population after time t, n0 is the initial number of population and 2 to the power n in which small n is the number of generation. Number of generation, for calculating number of generation, the formula is log nt minus log n0 divided by 0.301 and mean growth rate constant formula is k is equals to n upon t we also know k is equals to 1 upon g so we can calculate number of generation as t upon g there is one another term specific growth rate is equals to ln 2 upon g this is also important for various numerical now let us see one numerical based on above equations the first question is a bacterial culture has an initial cell density of 0.5 into 10 to the power 3 cell per milliliter. Its generation time is 20 minutes. The cell density at the end of 1 hour 40 minutes is. We have to come across with N0 that is 0.5 into 10 to the power 3 cell per ml. Generation time that is G is given as 20 minutes. And we have to calculate n after the end of 1 hour 40 minute that is 100 minute. So first we have to calculate the number of generation n is equals to t upon g. We get the number of generation 5. Then we put the formula n t equals to n naught into 2 to the power n. Then we get the answer 16 into 10 to the power 3 cells per ml. So the cell density should be 16 into 10 to the power 3 cells per ml. Now let us discuss one MCQ. Question is during batch fermentation in which phase the microbes in the fermenter are adapting to the new environment. We know microbes in the fermenter in lag phase 
they adapt themselves for a particular environment and this is the phase where microorganism prepare themselves and produce necessary enzymes or the metabolites that are necessary for their growth so the correct answer is lag phase in log phase microbe grow exponentially in stationary phase death rate and growing phase become equalized and in death phase the cell lose its viability so the correct answer is option a lag phase now let us solve one msq we have to select a correct formula and the option given as k dot t equals to log n t minus log n naught divided by log 2 mu t equals to log n t minus log n naught g into t equals to 2.303 log n t minus log n naught divided by log 2 and mu t equals to 2.303 log n t minus log n naught let us solve this question first option we know the formula for n n into g equals to t and also number of generation calculated as log n t minus log n naught divided by log 2 we, we put t upon g in place of n and uh, g is equals to 1 upon k so put the value of g as 1 upon k we get t dot k t into k equals to log n t minus log n naught divided by log 2 so the first option is correct now for second option mu is equals to ln2 upon g mu is a specific growth rate specific growth rate formula is ln2 divided by g so we get g as ln2 divided by mu and we have to put the value of g in equation 1 so we get t dot mu divided by ln2 equals to log nt minus log n naught divided by log 2 let convert ln2 into log 2 by simply putting ln2 as 2.303 log 2 so we get the final formula t dot mu equals to 2.303 log nt minus log n naught so we see the first option is correct and we get mu t mu into t as 2.303 log nt minus log n naught so option a and d are correct option b is not correct option c we didn't get g into t as 2.303 log nt minus log n naught divided by log 2 so this option is also incorrect so the correct options are a and d thanks for watching if you like this video please do like share and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any upcoming videos